In order for nuclear reactors to function, they require a fissile fuel called uranium-235. In the natural world, uranium is made up mostly of uranium-238, which is non-fissile. Uranium-235 represents just 0.7% of the total, so uranium-238 must be enriched. To do that, U-235 is separated from U-238 using a gas centrifuge. Uranium, in the form of gas, is introduced into the centrifuge. Rather like a salad spinner, the centrifuge spins at extremely high speeds. The two uranium isotopes separate under the effect of centrifugal force. U-238, which is heavier, is pushed out to the sides, while the lighter U-235 molecules remain at the center of the cylinder. The U-235 depleted gas returns to the previous stage, while the gas slightly enriched in U-235 then passes to a second centrifuge to undergo the same process. The operation is repeated in dozens of centrifuges arranged in a cascade so as to obtain enriched uranium-235 to a level of 3.5 to 5 percent. This is the concentration necessary to drive a nuclear reactor. At least 90 percent enriched uranium is required to build a nuclear weapon.